right, so I decided to do a quick video on my press because uh, people have been asking uh, about heat presses and all that stuff. So I have here a generic, I don't even know what company it is. Uh, let's see here. Multifunctional heat press machine. Uh, I, I think it came with like five or six attachments for it. Thing's pretty sweet. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to take a piece of Kydex, throw it in there, and you definitely want to use the Teflon paper. Uh, this stuff is like $18 um, for, well, I think this is like 18 by 18. Um, you can get it on, I believe it's uh, shirtpressnation.com or uh, HD Press Nation, one of those. Um, you can find them. Uh, so do a quick Google search and you'll see it. You want to put this between the Kydex and the heat, otherwise you could scorch it and, uh, and then just ruin it. So what I'm going to do, and, and also another trick is when you're dialing in, you want to take your Kydex, so this is a simple 8x8, it just happens to work on this, just barely, but it does. Um, you want to take this the heat press, throw it in there, and on this particular one, it's 410 degrees for 110 seconds. So um, I'm going to go ahead and throw this in here. So shiny side, grain side, shiny side up, material over it. You don't want a lot of pressure. Pressure? You want some, but not a lot. Um, then we get the steel mesh. So steel mesh over the hole. And again, this is my homemade press. I do have a uh, or my homemade table. I do have a, a video on this somewhere on there. Um, these are double stacked, 45 and 10 millimeter from Bubba's Holstico. So I'll be doing that real quick. Um, so put the Teflon paper over the Kydex. Let it heat up. And what you want to do is when you peel it. Check it with your IR thermometer and make sure it's in the 350, 360, 370 range. You don't want to really go more than 370 because um, then it's just going to start to smell bad and whatnot. So we have 75 seconds left. So what you want to do is get it in there and do trial and error. Uh, and again, if you scorch your Kydex, throw it out. But if you don't, it doesn't get shiny spots, you could go ahead and reuse it, which is the cool thing about Kydex. So um, figure out what works best for yours because you can buy the same model. And the heat element could be different, so you're not going to be able to get the same results that I do with the same settings. So again, my settings are 410 degrees for 110 seconds, and uh, that brings it to, I think it was 375 for me, 370. I'll have to measure again, and that works perfect for what I'm doing. So once this pops out, you'll be able to see down here what I do. And again, I have a... Um, HFS two-stage vacuum pump. It's a VP2200. It's a 12 CFM, and the thing is a beast. You can see it right, right there. So that thing is awesome. Absolutely love it. So let's check this out. 20 seconds left. Get the gloves on. I'll get a temperature on this, too, so we know. But check yours, always make sure that you're in your area. And too much pressure will also do the same thing with scorching. Three sixty on this one. Throw it over. have it I did others earlier and this is what it looks like so again nothing lower than 350 nothing higher than 370 this one came out at 360 if, sometimes you get these guys up here see those guys don't worry about those guys you're gonna cut it off right below that anyway so it doesn't really matter so these two would be mounted together with an MRD, and uh, yeah, so you can see the inside, you can see the outside, great definition, so if you don't have the heat, you're not going to get the definition. So there's that quick video.